Do you remember the Jetsons? Imagine year 2070, zipping around in flying cars with robotic helpers, just like the Jetsons. But what if AI becomes something darker, something we can't control? The future hinges on one question. Can AI achieve consciousness? This video investigates the spectrum of possibilities, from the utopian dream to the potential dystopian reality of AI. Coming back to the question of AI achieving consciousness. Ask any AI-powered chatbot if it has any consciousness. You know what? Let's actually ask ChatGPT together and see what it says. As an AI, I don't have consciousness, personal desires or subjective experiences. I operate based on algorithms and patterns in data to generate responses and interact with you. So far, AI claims to have no real consciousness and it only relies on data and algorithms or, in better terms, information. The matter of whether AI gains consciousness can be considered a moral problem with potentially extreme consequences that probably are more than AI just taking away our jobs. Due to the evolving nature of AI, there is a constant research and development and the field has generated many opinions and progress as to where the future lies with its development. In this video, we will discuss two perspectives of Elon Musk and Jan LeCun, both very famous personalities in the world of technology. Billionaire and ex-owner Elon Musk fears AI will be smarter than individual humans in the coming years. He stated, by 2029, AI will probably be smarter than all humans combined. In several interviews, Elon has expressed concerns about the risk of AI developing to the point where there will be a need to preserve human intelligence and consciousness. We're building progressively greater intelligence and the percentage of intelligence that is not human is increasing. And eventually, we will represent a very small percentage of intelligence. Elon Musk does not explicitly state whether AI might gain consciousness, but rather emphasizes the need for safety measures and the need to regulate AI development to preserve humanity. I try to convince people to slow down, slow down AI, to regulate AI. Musk fears that the creation of chatbots and AI systems especially at the hands of Microsoft and Google, could become politically indoctrinated and that the self-learning AI systems could turn hostile towards the human species and, on a higher level, be trained to spread information and bias reporting on social media. If you query ChatGPT, I mean, it's pretty woke, you know? I mean, people did like experiments like write a poem praising Donald Trump and they, they won't, but if you ask write a poem praising Joe Biden, it will. The fuel to power AI is data and the newer chatbots are trained on massive amounts of information. Companies like Google and Microsoft have tons of data in their systems from their search engines, cloud services and applications that can train these chatbots. A more thought-provoking question would be if these AI tools can actually become smarter than humans or just better responders based on how much access they have to our data given by these companies to generate appropriate responses. As time moves forward, will AI use our data to develop artificial consciousness to mimic our decision-making skills? Let's have a look at another perspective. Jan LeCun, VP and AI Chief of Meta and a well-known AI researcher, strongly believes that a true AI revolution will come when it will no longer need to be supervised by humans. Jan LeCun states AI systems today are essentially complex function approximators and lack the self-awareness and subjective experiences necessary for consciousness. According to him, the concept of consciousness itself is very ill-defined and is merely close to illusion. That we have a single world model engine in our prefrontal cortex that configures to the situation at hand. We basically have only one model engine in our prefrontal cortex. Uh, that engine is configurable to the situation at hand. So we are building a box out of wood or we are you know, driving down the highway playing chess. We basically have a single model of the world that we configure into the situation at mm -hmm. hand. 
He believes that the goal of AI research is not to create conscious machines, but rather to build systems that can perform useful tasks and solve problems. He suggests that a better understanding of the human brain and consciousness would be beneficial, but again, according to him, the current AI systems are not close to achieving human-like consciousness. He emphasizes that AI is needed and will be beneficial to humanity. Jan Le Kuhn believes that today's restricted approaches will never lead to true intelligence. And to attain that, we must utilize self-supervised learning for AI. Under SSL, so self-supervised learning, AI can use unlabeled data and large training sets to have a more complete representation of inputs, which can be used in different ways. In this interview with Spectrum, he states AI should not require labeled data sets to gain information on the world, instead be able to use self-supervised learning to have more robust systems. Because of this reason, LeCun believes that AI consciousness is not something of immediate concern. As current AI systems are not even close to being conscious, as they heavily rely on data provided. With his position and dedication to creating Metaverse, he believes there are large opportunities for AI-powered creative tools such as VR goggles and AR glasses that will allow everyone to create new things in the Metaverse. Researchers need to figure out how to build autonomous AI systems that can learn like humans. The question remains, will AI gain consciousness? What will be the future of humankind? Or is there still more work to be done before this happens? Overall, this is a matter of ongoing debate and speculative matters between researchers, cognitive scientists and philosophers. And I'd wonder, what is your opinion? Let me know in the comments below. In general, reasons why AI cannot surpass human intelligence or consciousness is that it solely relies on data provided and managed by humans. AI operates based on algorithms and data processing without subjective experience or feelings. Though one can argue that maybe over time AI might make their own decision, but probably only through all the data fed into the systems that mimic human behaviors. In this view, AI may become more intelligent and capable, but it will remain non-conscious. The possibility of AI gaining consciousness raises ethical and moral questions about the treatment and possible misuse of AI-based applications and systems. If AI were to become conscious, it would prompt discussions about the rights and responsibilities associated with such systems, which one could argue as a positive plus point. In summary, while there is no definitive answer to whether AI will achieve consciousness, the question remains a fascinating area of discussion that contests our understanding of both AI and human cognition. AI researchers continue to explore the uses of artificial intelligence and these questions while also emphasizing the importance of ethical considerations in the development of AI technology. But in reality, time will tell. This is Dennis Panuta, and if you learned something new from this video or just enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more AI related videos. Thanks for watching.